Good day to each and everyone. Our group is here to present our research entitled as Peanut Shells or Arakis Hypogea as an additive material in making recycled paper. By the way, my name is John Paul Timabanto and my co-researchers are Sharon Paul A. Vicente, Joshua F. Dotado, and RVN Libres. Philippines is facing a lot of problems and challenges when it comes to natural disasters. Deforestation is the one of the factors, especially in the production of paper, that causes the land to be vulnerable to flash floods. An alternative material is necessary in order to lessen the re re reliability of raw materials coming from nature. The researchers discovered the peanut shells have the potentials of being an ad additive material on making recycled paper. These are only a few proposed solutions to solve the problem about peanut shells. Because of this, the researchers thought of a solution that will not just reduce the amount of peanut shells wasted yearly but will also help to lessen the cutting of trees, which is also good in our environment. The researchers came up with this idea. Peanut shells as an additive material in producing recycled paper. The researchers came up with the with this proposed solution because they found a possibility provided by different researchers than by other researchers. The goal of this research topic is to discover alternative material on making recycled paper in order to lessen the reliability of raw materials coming from nature. Also, the goal of this research study is to find a possible way on how we can help on reducing industrial waste such as peanuts peanut shells. And lastly, the goal of this research is to produce an ecosystem and environment friendly paper that uses waste materials. What is the quality of recycled paper in terms of visibility of writing? Um, this table represents the data gathered by the researcher. In terms of visibility of writing, the experiment consists of three setups which is A, set A, set B, and set C where every set is composed of different proportion of peanut shells and used paper. In set A consists of 15 grams of peanut shells and 5 grams of used paper. And set B consists of 15 grams of used paper and 5 grams of peanut shells. And set C consists of 10 grams of peanut shells and 10 grams of used paper. The instrument used in order to determine the visibility of writing are pencil, pen and permanent marker. For the visi visibility of writing in set A, the paper has a legible visibility of writing with the pencil, pen and permanent marker. As per set B, it also has a legible visibility with pencil, pen and permanent marker. And lastly, for set C, is also the same with set A and set B. Set C has a legible visibility of writing with pencil and permanent marker. Okay. After discovering that all of the setups are legible in terms of visibility of writing, this table clearly states the proportion on these setups are capable of producing recycled paper with a legible visibility of writing. What is the quality of the recycled paper in terms of surface textures? This table represents the data gathered by the researcher in the terms of surface texture. The researchers did not use any research instrument in determining the surface texture of the sample. Since the researcher lacks the equipment in order to test the surface texture of the examples, the researchers conducted it in a traditional and conventional way by using the sense of touch and sense of feeling. For the surface texture of set A, the researcher felt a lot of bumps of granules while touching the paper resulting in an interpretation of placky surface texture. Meanwhile, the surface texture of set B is rough despite having the most color of whiteness due to the great amount of paper. On the other hand, set C is the only sample that has smooth surface textures that is ideal for a standard paper. After discovering that all, of the set hubs their own surface texture, this table clearly states the proportion of this sample have a great influence on the surface texture of the paper. Set A 
having the flaky surface texture due to a greater amount of peanut shells while set B having the rough surface texture due to a greater amount of use of paper and set C having the smoothest surface texture due to the equal amount of peanut shells and used paper is proof that surface textures varies on the proportion of the materials. What is the grammage in the weight of the recycled paper? This table represents the data gathered by the researcher in terms of the weight and grammage. In order to determine the weight and grammage, for example, the researcher used kitchen scale or balance scale as an instrument that helps determining the mass of an object. Setting has a mass of 8 grams and a grammage of 346.97 grams per meter squared. Meanwhile, set B has a mass of 6 grams and a grammage of 260.22 grams per meter squared. Set C also has a mass of 6 grams and a grammage of 260.22 grams per meter squared. After discovering of all of the mass and grammage of different setup, this table clearly states that the mass of the recycled paper varies with the amount of the material. Set A is the heaviest among all the sets due to the great amount of peanut shell use. Since 250 grams per meter spread above are the standard grammage of a paperboard, all of those samples can be an example of paperboard given set A has 346.97 grams per meter squared and both set B and C has 260.22 grams per meter squared. How strong is the recycled paper in terms of quality endurance? This table represents the data gathered by the researcher about the strength of the recycled paper in terms of quality endurance. The researcher did not have the necessary equipment on testing the recycled paper strength. The researcher only choice in testing the strength of the sample is the folding endurance. The, form the formula for testing the endurance is logarithm of D with a base of 10, where D is the number of fold. For the folding endurance of set A, it is 0 0.4771 since it is folded 3 times before it started to break. Meanwhile, set B has a folding endurance of 0 0.6121 and is folded 4 times. Lastly, set C has a folding endurance of 0 0.6121 and is folded 4 times which is also the same with set B. After discovering the folding endurance of all the sample paper, this table clearly states that the amount of proportion of used paper influences the folding endurance and flexibility strength of the sample. Set A having the least folding endurance is due to the fact that it is solely has a few amounts of used paper in its material. Percentage of water can be absorbed by the recycled paper. This table represents the data gathered by the researcher about the percentage of water the sample can, can absorb. In order, to, in order to determine the water absor absorption of the sample, the researcher uses instruments such as kitchen scale or balance scale in determining the mass of the dry sample and of its sample. The researcher made sure that all the samples are dry before undergoing the water absorption test. For the water absorption of set A, its dry weight was 8 grams, turned into 27 grams after absorbing water, giving it 237.5% of water absorption after using the water absorption formula. For the water absorption of set B, its dry weight was 6 grams, turned into 38 grams after absorbing water, giving it 533.33% of water absorption after using the water absorption formula. For the wa water absorption of set C, its dry weight was 6 grams, turned into 29 grams after absorbing water, giving it 383.33 of water absorption after using the water absorption formula. After discovering all of the water absor absorption of the sample, this table clearly states that the set base the most ideal proportion in producing an effective water absorbent paper. This test also proves that the amount of used paper can affect the water absorbency of the paper. What proportion has the most effective quality in terms of visibility of writing, surface texture, grammage, folding endurance, weight, and water absorption? After conducting all the testing parameters, including visibility of writing, surface texture, grammage, weight, 
folding endurance, and water absorption. This table clearly states that the most effective sample among the three set, APSWA set B, which consists of 15 grams use paper and 5 grams use of peanut shells. Set B and set C are the same in terms of visibility of writing, grammage, weight, folding endurance. However, set B is more effective than C. In terms of water absorption percentage, giving set B the leverage. Among the three setups, set C is the most decent sample, having a fair amount of water, absorption but smoother, surface texture compared to set B. On the other hand, set A is the least effective sample, having the most flaky surface texture, most heaviest among the three, low folding endurance and low water absorbency. Peanut is also known as a leguminous crop that grows mainly for its seed and oil. Peanut shells are the waste product obtained after the removal of peanut seed from its pod. This is the abundant agro-industrial waste product which has a very slow degradation rate under natural conditions. Increased production of peanut results in an accumulation of these shells, which are then either burned or buried because they are not used. If this is neglected, Pollution problems will arise. Peanut shells are also a lignocellulosic material that contains cellulose, hemicellulose, and lignin. These components are similar to the raw materials of paper in paper making industries. The researchers decided to conduct a study about peanut shells as an additive material in making recycled paper. Since peanut shells have the potential to complement wood supplies, the researchers conducted various tests in order to determine what proportion of peanut shells and juice paper is the most effective when it comes to the quality of the recycled paper. This study is composed of three setups, which is set A, set B, and set C. Set A consists of 15 grams peanut shells and 5 grams used papers. Set B consists of 15 grams of peanut shells and 5 grams of used paper. And lastly, Set C consists of 10 grams of peanut shells and 10 grams of used paper. The testing parameters that are conducted in this study are visibility of writing, surface texture, grammage and weight, folding endurance, and water absorption percentage. After conducting all of the testing parameters, the researchers discovered that set B is the most effective proportion in producing a quality recycled paper. It is also seen that the proportion of peanut shells and used papers greatly affects the weight, grammage, folding endurance, and water absorbency of the recycled paper. So for recommendations, the future researchers to get the highest quality of paper samples using a hydraulic press is highly recommended since the hydraulic press gives pressure and removes the excess water that can help the sample to dry in sunlight. Future researchers can also test the other properties of paper such as tensile strength, breaking strength, tearing strength, elongation, and stiffness. Since the research lacks the material in conducting this study, future researchers are encouraged to test their products on testing facilities that have testing materials such as TAPPI403, Bursting Strength, and ASTM D882, Tensile Strength and Elongation. Yeah. 
Bye.